If you've ever faced the daunting task of collecting a mountain of signatures from a handful to a hundred to maybe a couple of thousands and thought there's gonna be a better way than doing this one by one, well, you are in the right place. Because today I'm gonna show you how you can use DocuSign to send signature requests in bulk to a list of people like this one. We'll look at the two methods that exist so that you can pick the one that suits your needs and I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. So let's say that these 10 people, I want them to fill out and complete this form. And I'm using this specific form as just an example, but in your situation, you might just want a contract to be signed by people and they don't have to provide any information in the form field. But this is the most complex use case, so at least you know what's possible. That'll work either way. So anyway, there are, are 10 people that are here. We want them to confirm their business details in this form and sign at the bottom. And I also want to pre-populate the form with information I already have on file from these people. And the info is just right here. I've already created a DocuSign template. It's here, it's ready. So now what? We need to import our list of people and their information inside of the DocuSign template so that DocuSign can create and send out all the documents in bulk all at once so that we don't have to do it. And there are two ways that you can get DocuSign to do that for you. And before I get into it, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian and I'm the founder of SolarSign, formerly with DocuSign. But at SolarSign, we help businesses harness the power of automated workflows simply by bridging the gap between DocuSign and the apps that you use every day. Imagine streamlining your client or staff onboarding process, accelerating deals and never have to struggle to create and manage your contracts effortlessly. Well, that's exactly what we do. So if you're interested in automating document workflows that require you to collect signatures and all data from people, well, it's exactly what we can help you with. And you can click on the link just down below to book a call to strategize your workflow automation. Now let's go back to the two ways to do the bulk send. The first one uses a CSV file. I call it the CSV method. And the second one uses automation and I call it API. Now let's see which is best for you. Using a CSV file is very straightforward because you simply need to prepare your CSV file in the format that DocuSign wants. I'll get, I'll cover this in a minute. And then you just upload it inside of DocuSign. That method is very simple. It's very quick um, if you're sending just a few documents. However, if you're collecting a large volume of documents, so maybe a couple of hundreds of documents, the more documents you send, the more follow-up work there will be afterwards. If you're not collecting 10 but 300 signatures, you'll have to try you'll have to find a way to keep track of who has signed, who has not signed, whose email address was incorrect. You'll have to make notes somewhere in the system so that you remember who you followed up with and who you haven't. You might want to share those notes with coworkers so they can help you move those um, get those documents signed. Once they are signed, you will need to collect the PDF from DocuSign. You will have to store it in a folder and then you'll have to rename that document with a specific naming convention so that you can easily find the files in the future. And you also might want to extract the form field responses so that you can update that information in the system where your list of people is coming from because you want up to date data. Now, none of this can be automated using the CSV method. It's only the API that makes that possible. Now, let me show you how both methods work, starting with the CSV first, and then I'll show you with the API. First thing you want to do with the CSV is to ensure that your DocuSign template has fields where you want the data to merge, which are meaningful so that you can see what columns in your CSV you're mapping to what field inside of DocuSign. So you want to make sure that there's clear data labels for all the fields. The second thing that you want to do once this is done is you want to go inside of your template. You want to click on use and then you want to click on advanced edits and then you want to click on bulk send and download the CSV template by clicking here. That's going to give you this version of the CSV and that's simply the format that DocuSign wants. So for example, here, signer name. So here I have to take my recipient name and I have to copy and then I have to paste. Now I have to do the same thing for the email and then I have to do the same thing for all the other uh, fields that I want. So company name, which is here, I want it here. It's going to go in here. And so this is where error occur. And this is, this is exactly the reason I don't like to use the CSV. Anyway, I'm not going to um, 
copy paste all the other fields, I'm going to show you now the next step. So you save your CSV and then you upload your CSV. And here I get the list of all the envelopes that DocuSign is about to create for me. Once I'm done, I click on finish import and then I will click on send now. And that's it. There is nothing else. And unfortunately, you cannot get a preview of the, the of, of what the documents look like before you click send. So you might want to create a couple of envelopes with only your email address so that you can make sure that the data is merging in the right place on your documents. Now let's take a look at the API method and I've got a much more detailed video on sending bulk of document via API. It's perfect for watching next. So I recommend that you watch it if you're in a situation where you need to send loads of documents. It's linked below as well. Now imagine that our list of recipients is here, right? So here I'm giving you an example with my list of recipients being stored in Airtable, but let's just imagine that this is your database, whether it's a Salesforce or an ERP on Excel, whatever that is. In my case, it's here, it's already set up, so that's why I'm showing it to you this way. But again, it can be anything that you want. So I've got a list of people here. I'm going to click on preview the envelope to make sure that there is no error in the document. So we've got the preview of the envelope to the right. Now let's just open that specific record here to make sure that the document in DocuSign matches the information that we have on file. So the company name is Sterling Capital. That came through correctly, right? It's right here. Then we have 2021 Ma Maple Maple Avenue, which is here. Then we have Smallville as the city, which is here. Texas, Texas, postal code is empty. That's because we don't have the postal code and then business phone ends by 7890. We've got it here. And of course my email as I'm using it for testing and we don't have the federal ID either. Okay, great. So that's just a preview. I cannot sign this, right? The envelope has not been sent. So now I can go back and send my envelope. So I'm just going to click on send and actually I can send all my envelopes because I know that my data is merging correctly. So I'm selecting send and let's just see what happens. As you can see, records start to move from the um, draft stage to the queued stage. And then technically, if everything works, they will move from queued to sent. As we can see, we've got that first envelope here that's been sent. So why don't we just go um, and take a look at this envelope? I'm going to open my emails and my test envelope is here. And here we don't have the business name. So that's the envelope for Lee, Chris Lee. So I'm gonna go back to this envelope here and we're gonna take a look at the contact link to that envelope. So we can see the data has merged correctly. So 789 Elm Street, 789 Elm Street. Now, what I'm gonna do is since the company name is missing and the federal ID and the ID and the postal code is missing as well, I'm going to complete those information. I'm gonna sign and let's see what happens next. What should happen now soon is that this record here that says uh, for Chris Lee, will change from sent to completed. And the form fields should also get updated. And actually, as you can see, it's been done. So Acme, that's the company we've entered. I've got my zip and I've got my tax ID and I should not have to wait very long until my envelope status changes to completed. As you can see, oh, it still says sent for now, but it's being uploaded. So you see uploaded completed file. So let's just go in here. So we can see that our envelope status has changed to completed. We can open the document. We can also see that the name of the file has been um, uh, customized with the signer's name, which is great. And it's obviously attached to our record, but it's also saved inside of Google Drive for easy access. Now imagine if you had to do all of this manually one by one, how long would that take? And errors would definitely occur. So to summarize, if you just need to do a few envelopes, just do a bulk send using the CSV method because it's quick and easy and setting up the API doesn't make sense. But if you need to collect large amounts of signatures, then go with the API method. The API is ideal for more than just bulk sending. It also allows you to fully automate entire business workflows. Um, for use cases like sales, client onboarding, staff onboarding, investor onboarding, and I don't know, any, anything as you can think of that needs to be signed. 
I'm diving into DocuSign's API's capabilities and what this means for businesses that rely on agreements to conduct business in much more detail in the next video. So I really recommend you watch it. And if you need help implementing DocuSign, you can schedule a strategy session using the link just down below with one of our consultants. They will help you strategize the implementation plan to make sure that all your documents are not causing you any more trouble. Um, I will see you in the next one. And until then, happy signing. Thank you.